Hey guys, Lone Crusader here. Sorry I've been out for a couple of days. Uh, if you remember uh, one of the last videos I posted, um, I was going to take, taking a trip to Missouri. I was going to pick up a truck I bought. Um, had a great trip. Everything went smooth. Just got back. So um, I probably won't upload a video today. I'm going to try to upload one tomorrow for you guys. Uh, but real quick, while I have your attention, um, I wanted to tell you guys you know, that a lot of people are still kind of bent out of shape and wondering about May 14th. Um, now that that day's gone, and I know I know I've addressed this, but now that, that day's gone, um, what should what should we be doing? Well, obviously, I'm not worried about it, why it didn't happen then because it wasn't supposed to happen then. Um, it's this is on God's time. He's has a set the things set the way He wants them set. They're going to happen that way. Continue living. Um, I bought another pickup truck, went to Missouri, picked it up, and came back. Um, I had a great time. Me and my daughter got to talk a lot about things, went and saw some things. It was great. It was awesome. Keep living. Don't forget to keep living. You still have work to do. You still have everyday things you have to do. You still have families you have to take care of. Keep pushing. Keep driving forward. Get on fire for Jesus Christ. Start looking for the good things. Preach the gospel. Share the good news. Plant seeds. You know, my, the talk with my daughter, she doesn't believe. Uh, she has a different opinion about Christianity, but... In our talks on issues important to her, I was able to kind of slip in little bits here and there, planting seeds. And um, I don't know if I'm going to win her for Christ, but you know what? I'm getting the seeds planted. And that's with anybody. Um, take advantage of any opportunity you can to go do something, to go see something, to go experience something. You know, don't lock yourself down. I, I was guilty of it before May 14th, too. Don't lock yourself down saying, okay, well, it's about to happen. I'm not going to do anything. Keep living. The Lord expects you to keep moving forward. Keep doing the things you're doing. Keep, keep, and keep watching. You know, we know that the, uh, the signs that he told us to watch for, we see those signs. We see them everywhere. We know that it is just a matter of time before it happens. We see the, the events unfolding. So what should we be doing? Sitting, standing still in one spot? Wait waiting for it to happen and doing nothing, or getting out there, talking to people, letting them see our joy, letting them experience that the, our spirit being uplifted, our spirit being being strong and shining, and letting them see our shine, you know? And maybe it's gonna have an effect on those people because when we do go, we wanna leave them with good memories of us because those memories may be the catalyst that leads them to go, I need to go find a Bible. I remember these people, and I need to go find a Bible and get right. Uh, you never know. Anyway, I just want to leave you guys with that. Get that joy. Talk to Jesus. You guys need to be talking to Jesus every chance you get. You need to be praying to God every chance you get about every little thing. Give thanks. Give glory. And just remember, we know where we're at. We know we're in the season. We know it's about to happen, and we know that if we were faithful and we stand firm in our faith and we keep pushing and keep going, I'm tired too. We're all tired and exhausted, but take solace in this fact. You are chosen by God. You were chosen for this time. And if you have, you're living like he's told you to live and with a repentant heart and, and loving others, unconditional love for everybody. No matter whether you have an issue with them or not, forgive them. you got to forgive them. Forgive those things that happen to you. Don't hold those grudges and carry them with you. That weighs your heart down. Let it all go because it doesn't matter. And it, when you look at the grand scheme of eternity, none of these things matter. Let them go. You would be amazed at how much better you'll feel if you just let it all go. Give it to Jesus. Let him deal with it. It is astounding. The difference in your life and in your health. It'll, it'll make your health better. Stress kills us. We let all that stuff go. So much better. Uh, I feel better just in the last week from not thinking about that stuff anymore. I'm not worried about when the rapture is. I see the signs. I see what's going on. I'll share the news stories with you guys. I got a bunch of news reports I got to put out uh, next week. But I'm not going to let that stuff make me stop what I'm doing because I think something's about to happen. When Jesus returns, he's going to catch me living and he's going to catch me preaching the gospel to anybody I can. And that's what I want him to catch me doing, the right thing. That's what you guys need to do. The right thing. Read the Bible. Look and see. Acts is a great one. Look and see what he told us to do, how he told us to be, how the apostles told us to be. And pattern your life after that. And watch the changes in the people around you. 
they will be affected. If they do, you can't win them over, they will be, be like, wow, I can't mess with this one. You, you're, you, you will exude power and other people will recognize it and they won't mess with you. They won't mess with you. I, I can attest to it on some, a couple of things that happened over this last two days on this trip where the situation could have gone different, but because I was kind, polite, joyful, happy, that energy affects people. And if you're putting off negative energy, it affects them negatively. If you're putting off positive energy, it affects them positively. I love you guys. I bless each and every one of you in Jesus' name. We're watching for the rapture. We're watching for the signs. We're watching for our blessed hope, our beloved Lord Jesus Christ, to come and snatch us off this planet. What, what will he catch you doing when he returns? I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow.